The COVID vaccines are here. Know the facts. Get the shot. In the pandemic. The vaccines are proven safe and effective. The vaccine does not contain COVID. Nor will it give you COVID. Side effects are relatively minor. Arm pain, fatigue, and low-grade fever. COVID-19 vaccine protects you. And those you love. As healthcare workers, we're setting the example for our patients and our community. This is your shot. Schedule your COVID-19 vaccine today. All right, all right, obviously the good Lord loves the Eagles, right? I mean, we got this tropical storm rolling in and we're able to get our whole practice in, which we're very thankful for. And uh, we appreciate that. And that was a big blessing for us. Uh, good competition Tuesday. We had to adjust some things practice-wise to make sure we got it in so we didn't get as much of our competition stuff as we needed in, but we got all our stuff that we want to work on Troy in. So that was good to see. Thought our kids had good energy and uh, taking another step forward with this program. We kind of loaded it up. Coach, did you have any more takeaways after you got a chance to watch the film from Saturday night? Yeah, we did a really good job blocking our gap schemes offensively. We did not do a great job blocking our zone schemes. We really could have done better. Uh, you know, Trey played really well. It was 10 of 13, should have been 11 of 13 with a drop, had a touchdown pass. It was really good with his action, his reads. Ty came in, it was a big boost of energy in the second half. Uh, made some great runs, had some really good throws. Uh, we had a drop or two right there. He had one throw we'd like to have back in the red zone. It should have been a touchdown. We blew it in the red zone. Uh, like I said, we, we should have scored some more touchdowns. Some of that was young guys coming in, not really knowing what we were doing after we subbed, and another was just an errant throw right there that we should have had. Uh, defensively, thought we played lights out. Uh, we let a, we got we, you know we, we we made some mistakes, but we covered for them. And uh, you know, like we had a double move that got free, and, and Malik covered for the guy. And uh, but all in all, we played really hard. Dominated the kicking game. You know, uh, that's two weeks in a row that our coverage units have played extremely well and our punters and kickers have kicked really well. So we got to keep that going. Can you speak to Briggs and what kind of weapon he is? I mean, he missed 50 by yeah. a couple inches. Yeah, he should have had it. You know, he knocked the heck out of it. And uh, Briggs has done a great job. Justin Hewlett's playing great at uh, center, at snapper. Uh, Peyton Snyder's holding well, we're protecting well. Uh, Briggs is a weapon. He's a weapon on kickoff too. I'm just really proud of him. He's really matured as a human being. You can see how he's growing from kind of a silly boy when I got here to being a, a mature young man. He's taking that responsibility very serious and proud of it. Did y'all, uh, you talking about your punter, man? Did y'all <laughs> see that coming out of Gulf Coast? I mean, not saw it, didn't see it anywhere close to coming. Uh, had no idea it was coming. Uh, but Mason is doing a phenomenal job. We hope he keeps it up. Our punt team has been incredible. What about Jacarius Caston? Uh, just a great night Saturday night. Maybe tell us his story. What was he here when you got here? If not, did you go get him? And, and what what makes him special? No, Desmond Lind uh Jacarius Caston's Desmond Lindsay. You know what I mean? He finds unbelievable diamonds in the rough. He's been doing it for 12 years. Caston's a young man from from Adams County Christian that went to Hines and uh, had a good year there. We're really close with Larry Williams at Hines and David King at Adams County, and they just really love the kid. He's got great character. He's a guy that can play multiple positions, and he's just a baller. You know, he's a country Mississippi kid that just plays ball, and uh, he's really playing well right now. Can you catch us up on the health of uh, Shirty and Mayberry? Shirty uh, had some stitches in his hand last week, so he couldn't play, and he is uh, he is he's got a great opportunity to play this week. He's playing really well. He's a true blue tough guy. So we think we'll have him back. We're sure we'll have him back. Uh, Mayberry, we're not going to have back. Mayberry suffered a season-ending injury, lower extremity injury. Great kid. He's fought hard for Southern Miss for a long time. Tough, tough deal with him. You mentioned Malik Short's covered for someone. That's two games in a row, it sounds like. He's played at just a high level. Can you speak to him? He is. He's played great for two games. He's Southern Miss all the way, right? Lance Mancuso, Bassfield, to Jeff Davis County, to here. And uh, it's a pipeline that's – been here forever and we hope to continue. What makes him so good? Like, what, what is it? Malik loves football, right? When you go up in Bassfield, uh, that's the ultimate amount of pressure. That's like how I grew up in Avery. Right on Friday nights in Bassfield, they turn out the lights because everybody's <laughs> headed to the game. And if you don't play well, everybody in the town knows it. And everybody knows your mama and your daddy and your brothers and your uncles and your cousins. And you've humiliated everybody. So uh, it's an, uh, an extreme amount of pressure. And he's played under it his whole life. And he's really flourishing right now. Coach uh, Troy. Troy, really good football team. They just played a top 25 team in Liberty that won 11 games last year to the wire. Had a great chance to beat them. You know, Liberty's a really good football program that's won a lot of games. That's got a Heisman Trophy candidate at quarterback. 
and they got beat 21 to 14. So they're a program that's playing really well. They've been a good NCS team at Southern, and uh, they're coming in here with their lives on the line, you know, much like we were last week. Uh, you know, and uh, their backs are against the wall. We expect to get their great effort. They're a proud program like we are. They've won a lot of games in their past. We got a lot of respect for them. Coach, could you uh, address the uh, the snaps at center, the consistency of them, or the, or the speed? Yeah. So Arvin's at center, and uh, you know he's he, he's been for the most part really good. Uh, when you change quarterbacks, sometimes it's a little bit of. Uh, inconsistency with the cadence there. I thought our snap issues was mostly quarterback driven, uh, then, then center driven. Uh, we're working on that to fix that because that's obviously an issue, right? Pre-snap penalties and post-snap penalties uh, signal a uh, not well coached football team. And uh, so anytime you get a pre-snap penalty, uh, it's a bad deal. We haven't got any post-snap penalties, that's good, but we got to eliminate those offensively, they're hurting us. Coach, competition Tuesday, can you talk about what's going on on the offensive line? Yeah, you know, so uh, we got four guys that are playing, or really five guys that are playing an extremely high level with Bryson Mays being the other one at left tackle with Doss. Uh, you know, at right guard, we've got some battle right there. We're letting Coker Wright get involved with that along. He's still playing center, but also battling at right guard with Foxworth. We'll see how the film looked today and go from there. Kind of a cool question for you. I'm curious for my broadcast for Saturday. You had Pete with you on the field for the game. I, maybe your oldest son as well. What was Saturday night like after all the recruits left, everything left? What was that like for you going home with your boys with the first win as a Southern Just Coast? relief. You know, if you ask my <laughs> wife, winning, winning is uh, winning for us is just a relief. So you don't feel like you did last week. You know, and uh, we try to enjoy it, but uh, it's it just a relief that we got the job done. There's an extreme amount of pressure on us. Probably most of that stems from me, but I'm not going to change. And, uh, you know, so uh, it was good to get it out of the way. But look, we're building this program. You know what I mean? And, and it's not easy to build a program. It's hard. We've done it before. My wife and I, this is our third time to do it. We're going to build this place back. But day by day, it takes a lot of hard work, and it takes some breaks and some luck, and we were just proud to get a victory for these fans and, and this whole university. Anything else? Thanks, Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate it.